Hey everyone, Dan Nikas here. In this video, what I want to do is show you how we can easily migrate from MailChimp to Klaviyo. Now, the reason that I want to show you this is because, as you know from my videos uh, on my channel, everything that I use and do is on Klaviyo. It's what I use for our clients, it's what I use for Gearbunch. If you don't have yourself a Klaviyo account, I've got a link in the description. You can go and sign up for free, grab yourself an account there. Uh, because everything that I do, you can follow along then in the in the channel, which if you haven't subscribed to, click on the button down below. Now, the reason that I want to show you how to migrate from MailChimp to Klaviyo is because it's really simple. And what I'm finding is that the most questions that I get from people, messages, emails, is that they're on MailChimp and they've built some stuff out there, they've got lists in there, they've got segments. They're really reluctant to move over to Klaviyo because they've put all this work into MailChimp and they're worried about what's going to happen when they migrate across all. How do you do it? Now, they all seem to think that all you need to do is, or the only way to do it, is to just export a, a CSV file of all of your lists or all these subscribers and push them across over into Klaviyo. But that's not the way to do it. That, that is one way to do it, but it's not the best way to do it. So the way that I'm going to show you today will bring across all of your user data. So their opens, their clicks, whether they're subscribed, unsubscribed. You can even bring across your templates and your flows and automations across as well. So I'm going to show you the really quick and dirty way uh, like just so I can show you how simple it is to get it across. I'm going to go from my MailChimp account, my old MailChimp account across over into a test account in um, a Klaviyo just to show you how easy it is to, to do. So when you're in your MailChimp account, just click on integrations. Once that opens up, click on API keys, extras, API keys, and then create a key and we will just, once that opens, uh, we'll call this one, I don't know, the newest one, MailChimp, uh, sorry, Clavio, we're in MailChimp. Copy the API key, come back across to your Clavio account, go to integrations, All integrations, just type in MailChimp. Click on Add Integration. It's going to ask for the API key, which you've got there, Advanced Options. Now, I like to get the list from MailChimp and I also like to click the Open and Click Data for MailChimp campaigns. I don't want to only send contacts from specific audiences. For this example, I'm just bringing them all across. If you've got only certain contacts you want to bring across from certain lists or audiences on MailChimp, select that option and it'll be, it'll tell you, ask you which ones you want to bring across. So all you do is click on connect to MailChimp. Now what this will do is every 30 minutes it'll pull data, uh, every hour it pulls campaigns across. Um, so it says here we've just, uh, integration update, if you just added the, added the MailChimp integration, we're syncing data and you can watch the progress on the dashboard. As you can continue to use MailChimp, we'll automatically click the data in sync with Klaviyo. So look, it's really easy to do. Um, you can change the settings there if you want, but basically what I'm gonna do, I will pause this video, let it pull in the data. I'm gonna show you where you can find your MailChimp data on Klaviyo now, where the contacts have come in. Okay, so all the data has synced across, which is great. So just to check to see what's come across with it, just click on your profiles in Klaviyo. And you can see here, we've got when people were last active. Now this account didn't have any um, subscribers in it. It was a test account. So the, all the active profiles have come across and we've got uh, the suppressed profiles or the unsubscribed ones. So if I just click on the first person here, it's got their name, their details. Um, and I'll be able to see what they've actually done. So. I've got here, they open, and you can see the little MailChimp thing here, that they've opened, received an email and opened an email 16 minutes ago. Received an email. So it's got all their opens and, you know, received and whether they've clicked on them. Um, and you can see in here, it's got your MailChimp ratings. So they give them a rating uh, there just to sort of say what sort of um, user they are. It tells you how, what they were, they're a subscriber on MailChimp, they're in my leads list. Um, details about them. So, you know, obviously this stuff, I don't have a website connected to this test account, but if it did, it would pull across the Shopify data that I did have there, whether they're active on the site, whether they added to cart. So look, 
it's a really simple way to do it. If you haven't, if you have a Mailchimp account, don't see that as an obstacle to coming across to Clavio. Clavio is a hell of a lot more powerful for e-commerce. Uh, I would definitely get it across. You get all your all of your account details across to Clavio. I'd invest the time in going through and setting it up. It is just, it's a fantastic beast. It is, you know, there's a bit of a learning curve with it, but it is definitely worth it. The return on investment with it and what you can and can't do, uh, what you can do in it compared to other email um, software platforms is just worlds apart. Remember, if you don't have an account, there is a link down in the description. I'll also put a link in there for a, uh, a guide that has a bit more detail in it about how to um, link, uh, integrate your MailChimp with Klaviyo. It talks about how often it syncs, um, how to get some of your templates across there, how to get some of your automations across there. And it just explains it in a little bit more detail, but what I've shown you is how long it actually takes to get across. So look, um, really exciting. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, look, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.